Hey everyone, this is Brooke. We are back with another Goodwill Blue Box unboxing. And we were able to get New Jersey boxes. So hopefully um, we get some good stuff in here. Uh, real quick, I just want to say um, please look in the description box. Um, I will add my email um, down here in the video so that way you can see it because I do I do respond to everybody's comments um, I I am responding I'm answering questions I know a couple of people are having a hard time um, sending me emails so I'll put my email um, right here on the video so that way you can pause it and write it down it's in the description box and I'll also put it in the comments if you look in the comment section, you'll see it as well. Um, and I am responding to everybody's comments. So I don't know if you can't see it or what's going on, but um, I am responding. So we'll go ahead and we will open this up. This is a five pound a mystery jewelry box from Goodwill Blue Box. And it looks like the way that this box is, um, they put two in here. So we're just gonna pull the uh, the bags out and we're gonna see which one actually looks the best. So there's one and there's two. Okay, so New Jersey, New Jersey is famous for putting their boxes in bags. So that looks really pretty right there. I think we're going to go with this one. We'll put this one back and we'll save it for another time. All right. So let's bust this open and see what we got. So um, I'll put all the earrings that we get to the side. Let me go a little closer. So there's one. Uh, let's see. Just have a stretch bracelet. It is missing the little component right there, the rhinestone. So put that in the craft. This looks like it is heavy in earrings. So here are some earrings we got. This looks like a piece of a bracelet that broke off, but very pretty rhinestones. And these are those uh, Millefiori glass beads. They're very pretty. I like the orange. It's very bright and colorful. So I like that. Uh, let's see. We have a bangle bracelet. It's gold tone. It does have some pink and green enameling. It looks like it's missing two of the enamel pieces right there. So that's a shame. This one is by Fornash. I have heard of that brand, um, but I haven't this is the first time I've ever received anything from them. So we'll have to look that up, but that one is nice. We have this uh, copper tone, just bangle. This copper tone bangle. It doesn't have any sayings or maker's marks or anything on it. It's got nice weight to it. Uh, let's see. Looks like we got some more. 
that Millefiore glass. This one's blue. So, blue and orange, which we're here in Florida, so it's the gator colors. We have a dolphin tail bangle bracelet. Looks kind of small, maybe for a child or a young teen, preteen. Silver tone, it's got a lot of wear on it. All right, we've got a bunch of tangles coming out. Just uh, looks like it was one of those Shambhala style bracelets, but it's broke. Needs to be restrung. Here is the match to those. So it only has one back. I don't see a maker's mark on those, but if anybody's interested, I'll put the price on the bottom. Looks like we have an Alex and Ani in here. If I can get it out. It's tangled up, so we got an earring. Oh, we got a couple. And they're all tangled up with this night, so. This one's just a silver tone bangle with a little knot and hook closure right there. Uh, it's very worn. A lot of the silver tone is coming off, so that'll go into craft. Now let's see if we can get this off. Oh, so we got, no, that's not a necklace. So we have a necklace wrapped up with an Alex Nani bangle. See if I can get that off or not. So I hope everybody has a good weekend. Right now it is Friday night and I am just doing this unboxing video. So just to unwind a little bit from the busy week. So I hope everybody has a good weekend, had a great week and this is all sorts of tangled. I apologize for the delay. And so it's crazy how they get all wrapped up like this. I mean, it's over and under and over and under several times. There we go. Okay. So this looks like it is a compass so yep all right transition objective and direction compass from alex and ani that say 2016. so this one doesn't look too this one doesn't look too bad there's some wear on the bangle but that's cute this one is Looks like a cursive C. Alex and Ani, 2016. There's some wear right here on it, but not bad. So this little guy Alright, so we have a little silver tone necklace and it's got this teeny tiny charm on it looks like a faux pearl and a rhinestone it is super dainty teeny tiny i don't see any maker's mark or markings on it but i'll have to get that knot out put that to the side and look at it a little single earring right here let's see Another earring, a little tassel. Uh, another tangle. 
So we have this was rose gold and now it is tarnished but I don't see a maker's mark on it so I'll just go into craft this is a feels like glass just a corded what is it double yeah double strand corded choker with a little glass piece on it And looks like we have a double chain or a double stranded necklace caught up with this pearl necklace. So let's see. And the, these pearls have little magnets on it, so it wants to grab a hold of everything. Yeah, this one, this one's really tarnished. It's just got a couple of, you know, these faux uh, howlite pieces. This one, is really interesting. I think this is real freshwater pearls. Yeah, they're gritty. So it has a magnetic closure on it right there. So I'll have to pull these two apart and uh, I'll leave prices on the screen. This one, okay, this is Lucky Brand. Here is the Lucky Brand tag. It's a little four leaf clover. So this one, it's probably, it might be real leather, but this is a probably dyed howlite. And then you have these little gold rivet details with the gold chain or brass tone. It's got a little bit of wear to it, and there's some wear on the leather, but it is a cute necklace. And Lucky Brand's a good, a nice brand. Single earring, that one's pretty. So let's see what we got. We have a beaded choker style shell necklace that kind of matches the uh, bracelet that I just did. Black seed beads, little shell center, and then it has one of those clasps that is adjustable right there. So that's nice. Okay. So we have this, this looks like a little locket, but that kind of reminds me of, it's obviously a pirate, but maybe Pirates of the Caribbean. Disney, yeah. So this is gonna be a Pirates of the Caribbean uh, necklace with a little locket right here. So that's neat. I like Pirates of the Caribbean. Those were good movies. I did watch all of them. Uh, we have a Barbie necklace. So it's just a gold tone necklace with a little Barbie charm and a pink crystal. And the the chain looks like it's in looks like it's in good condition. So that's good. We just have a long muted green. These are uh, plastic, little plastic uh, faceted cut acrylic pieces, gold tone. 
looks like there's some some wear where the color has started to come off. And what do we got? That's a pretty earring. Really pretty little glass piece at the bottom. Bright orange rose. Another earring. Oh, we got the match. So, put the price on the screen if anybody's interested in those. Okay. Alright, we have Leah Sophia. So we have the, looks like the clasp is broken. It's a lobster claw clasp, but I can already tell that it closes, but it might open on its own. So we got these really pretty stations. There are some, there is some wear and looks like all the crystals are there, which is nice. So that's a nice piece. I like that. Another earring. Got to get this little group out. So another mixed metal earring. Got a big hoop. Lots of, oops, lots of rhinestones. Earring. That says J. Crew. So cute little flower. Hopefully, we have the match to that. Earring. That's pretty. I like that one. All right, let's see. What wants to come out? Got an earring right here. So leave me leave me a comment in the comment section. Let me know if there if you guys would be interested in any other kinds of um, like unboxing videos, you know, are you interested in, uh, purses or clothing? Um, just let me know what you think about that. All right. So we have, I'm not sure. What does that one say? Harmony. I think those are real stones. Um, maybe just a quartz or something, but that's cute. It's, it's kind of stretched out, needs to be restrung. This one's really nice. So you have mixed metals. You have silver tone and gold tone, little leaves on a silver tone chain. And I don't see any markings on it. So, yeah. That one's pretty and it, it doesn't have, doesn't look like it has a lot of wear on it. So that's nice. And we have this bracelet, made for you. Yep, made for you, okay. So just has this little charm on it with all these symbols. It's very nice, very dainty, has a little tassel and some seed beads and a gold chain. That's nice. We have an earring, a couple more earrings. This one, that says 925 on it. So we'll have to see if we have the other one and we do. Let's 
So I will definitely test those and see, are they real pearls? No, those, yeah, those might be real. So I'll have to test those. I'll put it on the screen and let you know. We did have the other one. We did have that earring too. Oh, we got both of these, okay. So we have these. And we have these hoops. That's good that we're getting matches. That's kind of rare for boxes, so. Got a little X stud right there. This is pretty neat. What is this? This is an earring. But look at the the pave crystals on that. That's neat. That one's really sparkly. And another. That one's missing a pearl, but that's it'll be cute for crafting. Okay. Oh, this one's funky. A little southwestern style earring, like that. A little chain earring. You have this little ring here. It looks like it's it's a stretch. It's a stretch ring, so it can be adjusted, but Yeah, it's gunmetal with the crystals. They're all there, so that's nice. Here's the other earring. We have this one too. I'm so glad that they put that they put the earrings in together. I love that. And another acrylic earring. Got, yeah, we got two together, so that's two. All right, what is this? This looks like a keychain, maybe. To go maybe put on a necklace or something. I'm not sure, but it's just faux pearls and chain. All right, so here's the other one. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy we got matches. Those are so pretty. I like those. Alright, another earring. And here's that set match. Alright, what do we got here? This looks like copper or tin. That's interesting. All right, let's get this necklace out. So we have, what is this? This is another Leah Sophia. But it looks like it's two. Two Leah Sophias wrapped into one. All right, there we go. All right, so this one, Leah Sophia, there's the tag. It's got a nice extender. It's silver tone. It has these little uh, pave crystal stations. And looks like all the rhinestones are there. Yep. So that's good. This one's in nice condition. I don't see any wear on it. So that's nice. This one is another Leosipia. And it has these two gold balls. They are, they do have some wear on the bottom. There's pave crystals right there. There's This one has some wear on it. Little uh, discoloration. But nothing, nothing too terrible. So that's nice. A little earring. Another match. Um, can't there. Yep, so these are just long, uh, let's see, 
if we can get it. There we go. Okay, so just little dangle earrings that have these disc off to the, or down the bottom. Very nice, very lightweight, so they'll be easy to wear. That's pretty. Another earring. Another earring, but I think this one, yeah, this one's missing the hook. Here's the big hoop. So we got the match to that, very sparkly. There's the match to that. This is a big statement ring. Very sparkly. It does have some verdigris on it right there. So, sorry, I'm just looking at my camera because it looked like making sure it doesn't shut off on me. There's that earring. So we got another match. I'm not sure, I think this is gonna be like cracked glass because it, it does feel like glass and unless it's it was cracked, you know, just from wear. But other than that, I mean, it doesn't look, it doesn't look that bad. It's got really pretty crystals in there. So that's pretty for, for summertime. These are pretty. Got these little earrings. They feel like uh, ceramic. And they have that really pretty uh, floral pattern painted on there. I love that, that's really pretty. Another earring. More earrings. We have this little teeny tiny ring. Um, I don't see any markings on it. it looks like it's just a antique gold tone, little wavy design. Earring, another earring. Looks like some freshwater pearls. Just, uh, this one's just a big um, shell earring. Okay, what can we get? So we have a wire wrapped ring, and this is a button that they put on that. That's interesting to do, you know, something to repurpose a button with. It's interesting. All right, so we have another big stretchy ring. This one has a black acrylic piece. It does have rhinestones. It is stretchy, but it's got a lot of wear on the back. And yeah, so. They're okay. Here's this one, but it's missing. It's missing the hook that it's supposed to have. So I don't know if I have one in that color because it's a different. We have what looks like a piece of paper, or you know, a piece of paper that was made into an earring. That's neat. This one's nice, so another stretch ring, but it looks like it's in good condition. This one's really sparkly. It's silver tone. Lots of sparkle. Okay, that one's nice. We have another earring. Little seashell hot pink bracelet. These feel like rubber. These little pink pieces right here feel like rubber. So this one, I mean, the gold is in good condition, so 
not bad. Oh, that's a pretty earring. I really like that. So I don't see any maker's marks on it, but that is really pretty. And it's, and this is glass. It's got some, it's got some nice weight to it. There's a lot of good, a lot of good pieces in here, which, you know, New Jersey, New Jersey hardly disappoints. I love my New Jersey boxes. So this is J. Crew. You have just a little panel necklace with a chain. It's like a bronze tone. These are acrylic. The little blue, blue green pieces. The chain is the chain's a little worn on it. It has the little lifesaver clasp. It is adjustable, so not bad, not bad, okay, we have a hoop, we have another one of those, this one is sequin, I believe that is sequin, and it's, I'm assuming, uh, supposed to represent the tree of life, maybe. So, some some sort of stone. I'm not I'm not a hundred percent sure. Maybe a quartz, but that one's pretty nice. Okay, let's see if we can get this one uh, undone. It has something tangled in it. A little tiny dainty necklace is all caught up in this. So can we do it? Can we do it? There we go. Okay. Put you right there. So this is just a little silver tone necklace. It does say something right there. Looks like it says 925 on it. But let me look at it a little bit closer. Yeah. So it says 925. So I'll test it and I will put the results in the comments, but are not in the comments, right here. <laughs> so you have a little peace sign and these two other charms. Very dainty. I like it. It's pretty neat. So we have the other hoop to that. And some more earrings. And let's see. Some more stuff that is caught. All right, so we have this necklace. It might be dyed halite right there. I don't think it's real turquoise. These stones right here, maybe something looks like it's missing. I don't know. Looks like it's missing something right, right here because there's a jump ring just hanging out. So, but the chain's nice. The necklace is nice. So I'll have to look into that and see what's up with it. And a little random. Here's the other earring to that, that freshwater pearl. It's 
So those are pretty, really pretty, um, almost like an iridescent purple on those. So that's nice. Another earring. Just got a random faux pearl. There's the O. That probably goes with the X for X's and O's. You have this bracelet. This says I don't know. Uh Is it Gorgiana? Or yeah, I'm not sure, but it's that Shambhala style uh, bracelet where you pull to adjust. It is uh, really worn. Everything is nice on it besides the cord. The strings are real dirty. So, this is interesting. This says. That says Kevin and Anna, or Anna, silver. Hmm. That's pretty interesting. And this says eighteen, eighteen something p. So maybe eighteen karat gold plated. Maybe, I'm not sure, but, so that's nice. We'll definitely look into that and test it. I'll have to research Kevin and Anna. I haven't heard of that. This is cute. It's a little camera, it has rhinestones right here. It has a, like a floral enamel on it. No maker's mark, but that's really pretty. I like that little little camera. Okay, let's see. So we just have a faux pearl. Yeah, I believe it's just plastic on a gold tone chain. It does have an extender. So probably be collar length. It is nice. I don't see I don't see any wear on it at all. So that's good. Can double check. So yeah, it looks good. So that's pretty. Alright, we have another um stretch bracelet. I believe those are halite. You have a little charm right there. Those those may be amethyst, I'm not sure. One day we will get the one day we will get the presidium and we will test all the things. So here is the other earring to that. Very neat. Okay. We have a look at that. Chanel. And it is stamped. So it's stamped. Chanel. It has the, the double C's. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it in there. But made in France. That would be cool if it's real. Look at the, the closure on it. It kind of has that. Hmm. I'll have to look into that. That would be amazing if if it's real. So I don't know, I'll have to work on that pin 
and see if I can get that pin out, but that is cool. Oh, I love, love this box already. So big, giant earring. This is pretty, very sparkly. It's gunmetal. I don't see, I don't see any maker's mark on it, but it's got little crystals right there. Very sparkly. That's nice. Okay, so what do we have here? Little earring. Okay, so this, this is funky. And I kind of love it. So this is like a, supposed to be a woman. Here's the dress, the top. It's got little legs, it's articulated. It's got pave set crystals there. And in the handbag, the dress has sequins. It's on a silver tone chain. And I don't see a maker's mark at all. That's crazy. How could they not mark this? Um, if anybody has seen this or is familiar with who makes that, please let me know. It's in good condition. Looks like all the crystals are there. The chain is a nice chain. So I'm definitely going to look her up. We have a big acrylic earring. So we have these little square crystal earrings, very sparkly, like those. We have the other one to this one. Little triangle. Alright, I think this... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. Looks like Mother of Pearl and some seed beads. But the clasp is broken on it. So put that into craft. Alright, we have a cloisonne bracelet. So here's the little beads. Very pretty. Uh, these feel like glass. The blue um, faceted cut ones are glass. You have the cloisonne on there. It's a stretch. It's got some. It's got some good stretch to it. So, yeah, it's okay. Maybe for a little bit. But got the match to those. You have a little leaf. And here's the match. Well, nope. I think one's silver and one's gold. Never mind. Here's the other J. Crew earring. So they don't have the backs. That one does. This one does not. But they look like they're in good condition. So that is a win. Here we have another cuff style bracelet. I'm not sure. It's very bendable. So it's not magnetic. So I will test it. But this feels. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's a stone or not, but it's definitely interesting. I'm going to look into that. I don't see any maker's marks on it, so. Here's a brooch. Okay, so. I don't see. 
I don't see any maker's mark on it and the uh, crystals are pretty worn on it. They're plastic. Okay, so we do have, we do have the match to this one. And we have another earring right here. Here is the match to that really nice one. Yeah, I love those. They're very sparkly. And we have an adjustable ring that is caught up. Okay. So that's pretty. You have a little floral right here with all these different color rhinestones. That would be perfect for fall. It can be adjusted and I think, nope, I thought it had a maker's mark down there, but it's not. So that's nice. There's the other earring to that one that unfortunately is missing a pearl. So I'll look and see if it's in the bag. A little starfish earring. We have the match to that. These look like the earrings that are just caught together. So dangle earrings with chain. There's a hoop that's discolored. We have another, this doesn't feel very good, but really pretty yellow orange stone or glass beads. And then I believe those might be real turquoise chips in there. So this is nice. It's got, it's got some good weight to it. Another earring. Here's the other one to that. And we have the other stone. It might be probably plastic. We have another stretch ring. I think the other one, what was the other? I think the other one was a little smaller. Then, yeah. Yeah. So. But that's nice. The same, but two different sizes. Got this pretty earring. We do have the match to those. There's the match to that. Here's the other orange rose. This is very lightweight. This is plastic. I'm not sh I don't see a clasp on it, so it's probably just gonna go over the head. But very shiny gold tone. Yeah. Just a gold tone link chain. Well, not really. I mean, it's a link, but it's plastic. So. All right, we have another one. Here's another ring. So these are all gunmetal. This one is gold tone. Here's the other pretty pink flower. Those are acrylic. The other acrylic earring. We have another ring. This one has little, these little panels, just acrylic, gold tone. Looks like it's in good shape. Um, it is stretched, but right now, without stretching it out, it's about a six and a quarter, so 
and that's without pushing too hard on it. So that one's nice. I don't know. Yeah, we did have this one. So these are clip earrings. They have little stars, gold tone. We have another Alex and Ani. Yep. This one is 2017. Has a little peace sign. And this one is in the uh, gold tone, brushed gold tone. And now we have this one. There's the match. So I might test those for silver and see what they are. Another bracelet with the light green. Lots of stone bracelets and this light muted green color. Somebody must have donated their collection. We have that, the hoop. Here's another one. So these go, these all sell on a set together because they obviously go together. So it's probably turquoise and coral chips in this one, but very nice. Okay, we got big feathers. So this is gonna go into craft. The feathers are pretty worn and the chain is pretty worn. So if anybody has a project that they need to do with some feathers, I got your feathers. Okay. I know we have this earring right here. So. Kudos to New Jersey for putting all of the matches in the same box. It's so nice and to have matches that you can put together. Um, this is just an acrylic um, dangle necklace. It's very worn. The chain is worn. A lot of a lot of color loss on it. You can see the copper coming through on it. These are all acrylic. So now going to craft. We have another stretch ring. This one kind of matches that one. So all the stones are there, that's nice. I know we have this one. Those are, those feel like glass. So I don't see any markings on it, but I will look at those a little closer. And the, this one is stamped and I know we have the other one. And it does have a stamp on the inside, right there. So, these are stamped. I'm not sure what that first one is. To me, it looks like, is it... Palom, Paloma, Palom, Picasso, T and Co. So these might be Tiffany and Co earrings. I'm going to test them and see. I'm going to look them up, test them, see if that's correct. But this would be a first for me in finding Tiffany. Um, this would be really cool <laughs> if these are real to go along with the Chanel brooch but 
I am completely stunned. And it says on this side, oh, I keep dropping it. Um, on this side, on this part right here, it says 925 Italy. So I'm going to have these looked at, but that, that is really cool. That's really cool. We have, uh, this is Alexander the Great, looks like a faux coin. Yeah, supposed to be a faux coin on a chain, gold tone. Has a spring ring clasp. And this says, this says 120th, 14K gold filled. So that is pretty neat. I will test this and see if that is uh, real because I'll have to look into that one as well. Um, we have a corded, this is magnetic. It's got a lot of wear on it, so I'm just going to put this one in the craft. We have these earrings right here, which look like these little dangles look like amber. Let's bust out the black light and see. Yeah, this one, these aren't, these aren't glowing in the black light, but it does say 925, right? there so I'll have to look at these and test them uh, some more this is like 10 maybe 10 I'm not sure but that's that's neat it's different okay we are getting down to the bottom. All right, let's do this because I've been eyeing this for a little bit. So this looks like, I don't know, it might might be sodalite. It does have some, some gold. Mm, uh, it looks like it's got gold flecks in there for lapis. So, I don't know. I'll have to I'll look at it a little bit. I'll look at it closer and see. Uh, tell me what you think about that. And I'm not sure what, what symbol, um, what that stands for. We just have a, okay, Vera Bradley. So, just a bangle enamel uh, pink enamel with gold looks like it's in good condition uh, the inside looks good so that's nice nice for spring and summer this is a little this is like black metal which is neat. I don't find too much, too many uh, black metal pieces. So that's nice. It's nice to have something different with faux pearls. And you got these little, um, uh, maybe, I'm not sure what you would, what would you call those? But got an extender so that's nice get the earring we got a little uh, that's an interesting charm with a uh, little pave set rhinestones and this is marked 
says 925 on it, so I will test it and see. And I'll test the, the nice little pistol charm here as well. It might, it looks like it's maybe gold over silver for May. So we will put that in the test pile as well. This is just a two-tone black and white. I mean, this kind of reminds me of a snake, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> when I was pulling it out of the bag, it just kind of looked like a snake. Um, it's silver tone. We'll just put that into craft. Got this ring. It is kind of like a gunmetal tarnished silver. That is, I think that's plastic. So, very nice. Got a Pandora bead. It says 925 ALE. ALE is uh, Pandora's uh, marking, if you want to call it that. So, nice little Pandora charm. And looks like we just got a silver tone ring. And the other earring to that. We have this earring. And here's some more little guys. I know I have this one. I do remember, yep. So. There's that one. I think I got this one too. I'm not sure where. But put that over there. That is... That's what I saw originally and I completely forgot about it. So... I kind of love it. It's a bunch of little um, crystals on a silver tone bracelet. I don't see a maker's mark on it at all. It's kind of lightweight. I mean, yeah, a little bit. It does the charm has most of the weight, but the chain that it's on is very lightweight. It might actually be plastic. Yeah, I think it is, but this is nice. I like that. Very nice. Little earring. I know we got the match to that. Here's the match to that funky one. Here's a ring that has seen better days. It's missing some of its rhinestones. Put that over there. There's the other starfish. Here is the other really pretty. Those are really sparkly. All right, so you got this big bulky chain link. Uh, I think it needs to be cleaned. I don't see any wear on it. It's just a little dirty. It needs to be cleaned, but it's probably, you know, choker collar length. And it's got, it's got some nice weight to it. It's kind of heavy. have an acrylic necklace. Some of the gold tone has worn off right here, so we'll just put this into craft. Take those pieces and make something new out of it. We have a chain, tassel, dangle, necklace. Look at those rhinestones. That is pretty. So we got gold tone chain. And 
Yeah, the necklace looks good. There's a little bit of wear on the lobster claw clasp. It does have an extender right here. So that is, that's a nice little statement center right there. I like that with the tassel chain. There's another hoop. Here we have this earring, and that is really funky. I don't see, I don't see the match to that. I like that one. That's pretty. So we have some silver tone with black enamel, little five, five piece statement necklace. It's on a silver tone chain. It's got some wear to it, probably just needs to be cleaned up. Actually, it was gold, but the silver or the chain is now silver and it's got verdigris on it. So just put that in the craft. All right, NRO. I just got a little heart bracelet with a green acrylic stone. I think NRO is Avon, a form of Avon maybe. If somebody knows, please let us know in the comments. So we just have the seed bead and wood necklace. Put that into craft. This is going to go into craft because it's really worn. The chain is completely just gone. But these little triangle pieces are nice to craft with. We have another earring right here with no, I don't see the mate. Of these we do have that one. Oh, nice we have that one and that one yep these are all earrings okay we got two pins so we got roman numerals and what's this just um not sure what that's supposed to be no markings on it. If you know what these are for, well, this one has markings. Golf. Uh, golf Associates. Not sure. Okay. So here. Oh, I love these. Okay, so we got this one. That's good because I really like the... Southwest, the Southwest vibes this one has. So that's pretty. And we have this one. I know we have that one. And then we just have these. Right here that have no match. That one does. So that is it. If you have made it this far in the video, thank you so much. Um, we got some good stuff. I am super excited about these possibly Tiffany earrings and the Chanel brooch. This right here made the entire bag. So I'm super excited to see what these come back as. Um, and we have another another bag to go through so we will go through that one uh, in the next video but thank you again for hanging out for being here thank you for subscribing uh, we are getting close to 300 subscribers we are almost there so please if you know if you have friends uh, that are interested in jewelry unboxings um, please you know share the video invite them to come over and join us and we will 
we'll see you in the next video. You guys have a great weekend and I will talk to you again. Bye.